Now we're going to finish our discussion of equivalent circuits associated with sources. Here on this top diagram, we have Vs in parallel with R. However, Vs is same thing as V, so it has the same IV characteristics when we remove R. So we can redraw this circuit, Vs plus or minus, remove the R, since it doesn't affect the circuit. It, however, draws current from it, but we still have the same IV characteristics. So we have the rest of the circuit. Same IV characteristics, plus, minus, V, and the same current direction entering the rest of the circuit, I. So here, these two circuits are equivalent, just simply removing the resistor in parallel with this voltage source of R. Now we have the dual situation here. We have an uh, ideal current source in series with a resistor R, but the current through resistor R will be I regardless of what the value of R is. So therefore, we can redraw this such that we have IS going into the circuit with R removed, we still have the same I and the same voltage across there. So that's the rest of circuit. So these two circuits is equivalent to these two diagrams shown here. So this Vs in parallel with R is simply the same circuit with the R removed and this circuit with IS in series with R is the same circuit here with R removed. And it doesn't change the IV characteristics associated with the terminal shown here and here. IV characteristics here and here is the same as the IV characteristics here and here for these two terminals. And likewise, same thing with the terminals here and here, same thing here and here. Now we're going to summarize what we've talked about in terms of equivalent circuits. We're going to have a column for series and a column for parallel. So here we have two resistors, R1 and R2 in series, and we replace this combination with R1 plus R2. For this parallel combination of R1 and R2, we can replace that equivalently with an equivalent resistor here such that this is equal to R1, the product of those two resistors, divided by the sum of those two. Going on to the next diagram. Here we have Vs in series with R, and we replace it with a current source, Is, that is in parallel with a resistor R. And we note that this Is is equal to Vs divided by R. Now we have here right side where IS is in parallel with R we can replace it with a voltage source VS in series with R where VS using Ohm's law to be equivalent to IS times R. Here we have a current source in series with R but the current through R will be the same, so we can just replace this with a current source without the resistor. Here we have Vs in parallel with R, but the voltage across R is just Vs, so we can just take that out, replace it with a voltage source of Vs. So these are equivalent. Then finally, we have one more in which we have two voltage source connected in series and we can replace it with a voltage source Vs 
that's equal to the sum of those two voltage source. Note the polarities. So this is Vs1 plus Vs2. If the polarity is averse, one of the sources will be negative. And then we have a situation here where we have Is1 in parallel with Is2. And since they add up at the nose right here, we can replace that with a single current source such that Is1 plus Is2 is the current source for that value. So here we have Is1 at these two terminals in parallel with Is2, and then we just simply add those two current sources to give us the equivalent device equivalent circuit. So that concludes this summary.